right, you guys, I have a 2012 Dodge Ram 1500. Okay, it's a Hemi. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add a key. We have the customer's remote doesn't work anymore, so we're gonna go ahead and add a new key. Now, this is the same way as if you were doing all keys lost, okay? So, the first thing that we gotta do is we gotta connect our mini OBD programmer. You don't know if it's on with if the light is on. Okay, we're gonna put the key in, make sure that it has a battery. Okay, Michelle, the battery has a remote. That's the mobilizer light that's telling you that key's not from there. Okay. Go ahead and get in the vehicle. We'll close our door. Okay. So we're gonna go to our key tool max. We're gonna go to the mini OBD. We're gonna make sure that it's Okay, via Bluetooth. So go ahead and click on it. You don't need internet for this, okay? Just let it connect first. The first time that I tried this, I wasn't successful, but they, they've been updating it. They're always updating it. Um, I really don't rely on it to program vehicles. I rely on it more to clone vehicles. So basically, um, cloning keys all the time i'm not really using the programming site because um i was kind of skeptic about it but now it's 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 updated and they're and they're doing good so i'm barely starting to you know use a programming thing on it but all i do is clone keys with it okay so just let it connect if it doesn't let you connect So if it doesn't let you connect, go ahead and turn it off, turn it back on, press OK, click on it. Okay, it always seems to have that problem with my, even with my key cutter. Okay, bear with me, you guys. Okay, so it connected. We're gonna press OK. Now we're going to go to IMMO Programming. We're going to go down to Dodge. We're going to go ahead and select from our system since we only saw the key one, okay? Now the one that we're trying to do is the toothless rotary key, okay? It's not the key let's go, that's for push start. The normal key is just the key that you enter and you program, okay? But we're, gonna, we're looking for toothless rotary key. So it's going to be a type 2, okay? Now the first thing that you got to do is go ahead and read the pin. Okay, so we're going to press start execution. Now we're going to go ahead and read the pin first. Before anything, let's see how many keys it has. Number five. Okay, so we're going to add the sixth key. But first, we got to read the password. Switch ignition on. It's on. Password is 5095. We're going to press OK. I think it's, the machine's going to input it for you automatically. If not, just add it. So we're going to go to add key. And like I said, this is like doing all keys lost, okay? It's the same, the same way. If keyless start system, please remove the start button. Okay, so we're going to press OK. Enter the one key and turn ignition on, okay? As you can see, it inputted the password for us. We're going to go ahead and press OK, 1595. Please wait. As you guys can see, the light stayed on, solid, um, solid on, and then it turned off. And then our max key tool said key program successfully. So we're gonna press OK. And we're gonna wait for the light to turn off again. Okay, it turned off. So let's go ahead and turn the vehicle off. Turn it on. Perfect, you guys, it stayed on. That's the, that's the key tool max for you guys. Putting in work, okay. 2020 they're doing a really good job with the updates don't think that you can program every every vehicle with the key tool max because you can especially european cars you cannot do those those keys are mostly pre-coded that means that they're pre-coded and then they're programmed to a vehicle these domestic keys are not pre-coded as you guys can see the remote works on now on there and also a lot of you guys think that you guys can clone every key you guys cannot do every key the, the key tool max the key tool max 
it comes in really, really handy, and sometimes it will do miracles, but don't always trust this, you guys. It's always good to have different programmers. I always recommend the Auto Pro Pad. The, the, I believe the lights right now is, is, is on sale for like 800. Um, I have the basic, which is the same thing. They're all the same thing, except that the full one, the one that's full, the basic, the Auto Pro Pad full version has the EEPROM adapters and the KC100 to do pre-code keys for BMW and other vehicles. All right, you guys. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions about that, you know, go ahead, email me at L-I-L-R-O-X-X-0-0-1 at Yoho.com. Till next time, you guys, take care. All right, you guys, I want to show you guys this key cutter. This key cutter is called the Condor XC009. It's a basic key cutter for your double-sided keys. It doesn't cut keys by code, okay? This is just for double-sided keys, basic key cutter, manual. Um, something that cuts by code would be the Dolphin. You guys already know that, okay? This machine allows you to cut it by code if you have the key code. Um, what I do like about the little basic key cutter is you can take it with you anywhere. It's portable. It doesn't weigh much. Okay, you can just take it with you anywhere. Also, I love the built-in battery. There's a built-in battery in here, so you can just charge it, okay? You don't have to plug it in anywhere. You just charge it, take it with you on the go. And it also has a built-in light, okay? So you can cut keys in the dark. You put your keys, and then you move it. You maneuver from the side to side with this little thing right here. Okay, so if you guys want a basic key cutter, this is the one for you guys. Condor XC 009, okay? All right, guys, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to decode this key and duplicate this key. This is the emergency blade that comes, comes behind the fabric. Okay, if you guys don't have it cut out, you guys are gonna need at least sheet the door, okay, or dismantle the lock cylinder and count the cuts on the wafers, okay, and just put it on the bidding. You gotta to, go to cut by bidding and you enter the you enter the cuts, okay? Now when we duplicate this key, you're never supposed to duplicate keys by universal key duplication. Never this option, you guys. This option you only do it when you don't know what kind of key it is or the model and make doesn't appear on the vehicle database, okay? But, but since ours does appear here, we're gonna go and duplicate this key by vehicle database. So we're gonna go to vehicle database, we're gonna go to Dodge, we're gonna go to all key blank. So this basically gives you all the keys. Now if you look at it, this, this CY24 looks a little different than this one. This one's a seven and this one's an eight bidding, so we're gonna go to the eight bidding. Okay, now it's telling you to have it on the second line. If you don't have it on the second line, it's not gonna cut it or it's not gonna cut it correctly. So just make sure it's on the second line, as you guys can see. Okay, it'll tell you if it's not placed correctly, we're gonna press okay. Now the first thing that we wanna do is decode key. So let's go to decode key. Make sure that it's telling you that, make sure that your device is connected to the Bluetooth. So our machine's not connected to our max key tool. So we're gonna go ahead and press connect. Okay, so turn everything off and back on. Now we're gonna go back to decode. Don't move nothing on here, you guys. Okay, this is not to be moved. Don't move none of this. Just go ahead and press continue. So right now it's decoding the key, but it doesn't have any cuts. Okay, this, this is just an example. Okay, so that's how you decode your key. And you go ahead, take your take your key out, put the new key in that you're gonna cut. Okay, it has all our cuts that we decoded, and then we're gonna press cut key. Okay. Like I said, don't move anything right here. Don't move this, you guys. Leave that leave that alone. Okay. And then we're gonna press cut key. Okay. But it's not gonna cut the key out. Okay.
because um, this is just an example. Now this this key cutter always. So we're gonna press cancel. Okay, because we don't want it to cut. It's not gonna cut anything either way. All right, you guys, and that's it. If you guys have any questions, go ahead, email me. Okay, I'll be glad to assist you guys. Take care, you guys.